So I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to do a creative color on naturally textured curly hair. Um, you know, with, with light and curly hair, there's a lot of uh, stigmas about damaging and breakage and uh, losing your natural curl pattern. And a lot of your guests are scared to experiment with color because of these stigmas and uh, you know myths, right? But today, I wanna show you guys that there is a super easy way that your client can be creative without over lightening or over processing their uh, naturally curly hair. So I've come up with this technique. I don't know what to call it yet, uh, but I'm thinking something like inner glow because it's glowing from the inside. And normally when you see lightened hair, it's normally on the, the ends and the outside, right? But there's something cool about the way this looks. It's, it's almost like glowing from underneath. And I think this is like a super easy way for your clients to be creative, again, without over-processing. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to get this look I'm gonna show you all the color that I used. And then I'm, I have a guest artist uh, who also works with me at Fan House. Her name is Danae, and she's going to be showing you guys how to style this look. So I'll color this, and she'll hop on and show you the style. And today, we'll be using Blonde Me. Um, it lifts up to nine levels, and we're gonna be using 20 volume. All right, and we just apply this right to her root with a little bit of a feathering, but it's only um, a few sections, so I'm gonna show you guys that. All right, so my mixing ratio is one to two. So one part lightener powder and two parts of 20 volume developer. And the way that I section this is I'm going to go ahead and section it from the middle of the crown to behind the ear. And we're going to work on the front side. So we're going to go ahead and clip the back part away. Okay. So let's separate that. I'm going to part this. All right, from the behind the ear. To the middle of the crown, like so. This we aren't going to touch with lightener or color. Yep, so the glow just happens right in this inside right here. Alright, so I got one to two. I'm going to mix that. And for this look, you don't have to lighten too much. We're looking for a nice level eight. And again, this will, you know, we're not over-processing the hair. Nice and gentle. And what I'm going to do is lighten maybe about an inch and feather out a little bit. I really like this look because a lot of our, our guests like to be kind of cool toned colors and you lose that glow. You know, the warmer the, the color is, the brighter it glows. So I like to try to talk my clients into trying something on the warmer side and I think it matches her skin tone. <laughs> okay. About an inch away, I'm going right onto the scalp and feathering out. And I'm saturating very well. And I'm using my, my favorite brush. Um, it's called the Frame Art Emperor brush. It allows me to move really quickly through the hair. And uh, the reason I use, I choose this lightener um, for mostly everything that I do is because it has a bond building uh, technology built inside the lightener. So you don't have to add extra Bond builder, so it's it, it works really well. It saves me a lot of money because I don't have to buy like a like a second party bond builder. So say what cost. And for the for the yellow and the orange color, we're going to be using a new product called Chroma ID, 
and this is new by Schwarzkopf Professional. It's a colored bonding mask. So again, going with the, the bond building technology, you know, we now have a mask that is a creative color. So you can ensure that the hair won't be damaged, you know, stay healthy throughout the entire process. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just make sure that all the hairline is nicely saturated. All right, so I got my cap, and I'm just gonna cap her. And being careful not to get the ends. Oh, oh, almost tripped on this tripod. Being careful not to get any of the hair on the ends. And because she's not a human, she doesn't have any heat radiating off her body. So we're actually gonna, I'm gonna stick her outside. It's really nice that we're in Arizona. So for those of you who <laughs> are living in the cold, uh, and you're trying this on a mannequin, you can put it under the dryer, but not too hot though, you know, medium heat. We want to make sure it gets some sort of heat so it can process. Okay, so we're gonna process for about probably 30 minutes and um, she'll be ready for the next step. It's that easy. I mean, that took me no more than 10 minutes to apply. I mean, you can easily do this for a lot of your clients. So 10 minutes application time, 30 minutes processing time, that's 40 minutes. And then when I apply the color, it's the same thing, about another 10 minutes, that's 50 minutes, and she's almost done. I mean, this is a great service to offer your clients that will have natural textured hair and want to try something creative. Okay, so we'll leave this here for 30 minutes, and then we'll be back. All right, so we give her some heat to process with the inner glow. Okay, so now she's all washed out. She processed for about 30 minutes in the sun. Um, wash it out with uh, Blonde Me bonding shampoo and conditioner. So you can see it lifted really nice. And again, this is what we're going for. So it's already really cool looking. You, know, you can keep it blonde if you want to. You can do uh, other colors, but I think the warmer colors look really cool together. Okay, and today what we're going to use is the new uh, Schwarzkopf Professional Chroma ID bonding mask. And these are pigmented bonding masks, so like basically pigmented conditioners. And what's cool about these is they have the, the primary colors, like the creative colors. This one is straight yellow, and that's what I use on her root. And then after I apply the root, I blend it out with some 7-77. So this is really cool. So this bonding mask is pigmented to match the most popular tones that um, Agora Royal or Agora Vibrance um, make. So there's 7-77. This is like a really, really beautiful copper amber color. Okay? And they also have like the level 9 and a half dash 1. That's your Ash Blonde. 8 dash 1 9. Great, great tones, and you can even offer this as a, a refresh service. This is really cool. And I apply this straight onto the hair. So, you know, get your brush and bowl, and a couple easy pumps. See, it comes out just like, you know, any, any like treatment or conditioner. And if you notice, this part is still clipped, clipped up. Okay, we're not gonna touch that yet until the, the end. All right, so we start with the yellow. And now, I'm just gonna apply it right to the root. And then after, I'll blend out the, the copper color. You see that? And what's cool about this color is that, you, you know, you can sell it as a, almost like a treatment. You can let them know that even the color you're using um, has bonding technology in it and it's not going to be, you know, any more damaging. And if, they, if the color fades and they want to come back to try, try another color, you know, they can do that too. In the 
Chroma ID line does a lot of cool colors. They offer pink, which is really nice, purple, blue, green, and then you have a few of the shades that match the color line. Okay. Last section. I'm excited for you guys to see how um, Danae styles this. It really brings this color to life. And this is only going to process for you can, 10 minutes with it rinse. Remember, it's, it's, it's conditioner, so it's really easy to, to rinse out. Alright, she's going to process for 10 minutes and you're going to rinse with cool water. Rinse really well. And next up, you'll see Danae um, do the styling. Hi, I'm Danae. I'm a stylist at Fan House and I work alongside Lynn. And today we're going to show you a technique on natural textured hair. Um, I do a lot of blonding and um, color and I love working on natural textured hair, dreads, braids. Um, it's kind of my passion too. Um, so what we're going to do today is finger coil and I'm going to show you a technique using these products and I'm going to bring Lucinda in in a little bit to assist me on the technique but this is what the end result is going to look like. We have basically done a wash and go only when we're in the salon we're going to use a diffuser to get it dry so the client can leave with it styled. So I'm going to put my mask on and bring Lucinda in to come assist me. So I'm going to introduce her now. Come on in, Lucinda. Hi, I'm Lucinda and I work at Fan House as well. I love curly hair. So let's get started. So I'm going to use this foam. You want to use a light foam. Um, her curl texture is not super tight. We're going to comb this through. You want to make sure it's evenly saturated. So that way it's distributed on all of the hair in the head. From roots to the ends. So then I'm going to start parting from the bottom and using my fingers to comb, finger comb, I'm going to then twist, rotating towards myself and towards away from myself. So the reason why we use a diffuser is because curl also has memory. The more you diffuse, the more your natural curl will enhance. Not every time does a client need to diffuse, but a diffuser is a faster way of drying, it enhances the natural curl, and it allows your curl memory to be there. So when you air dry, there's possibility that your curl on its own will be better over time. So now for any parts that I see are starting to frizz or that are not as defined as I want, I'm going to take the My Hair My Canvas, the air dry balm. And I actually like to use this on dry hair already just to smoothen some of those ends that are starting to frizz up. So I just run it through my fingers and then on the ends of the hair that I see need a little bit more definition. It's always better to have the larger curl pattern when it's dry because then we can take and separate it and make it bigger and make her curls more of a rounded shape. Sometimes what I like to do too is take the top and the bottom of the curl and kind of pull it apart just so that it can expand the curl. The more you pick it apart, the bigger the hair will get, and also you'll lose more and more definition the bigger the hair is. So depending on the look that you want to go for. I think I like where it's where it's living right here. So let's spray a little bit more. It's 
Sometimes I'll have my client shake their head out and get the girls' curls to loosen up a little bit, lengthen. 